Ethiopia's military uh, has announced plans to reform and modernize its defense forces. CGTN's Grim Chala sat down exclusively with Ethiopian Minister of Defense Forces, Motuma Misaka, to get a deeper look into the proposed changes. Thank you very much, Mr. Minister, for talking to CGTN. Now, since the coming into office of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, we've seen reforms in different sectors, and the army is one part that he's been uh, focusing on. Uh, you as a defense minister, what can you tell us about this uh, required, desired need in the Ethiopian defense forces? Nowadays, uh, the, the defense should be equipped with technology. Technology is very important. Uh, it, it, we cannot work as before 20, 30 years back. We have to go with the technology. So to introduce this technology, the reform is very important. And uh, we have to strengthen what we have and we have to add what we lack. What is the plan now uh, to bring that uh, strong Ethiopian Navy back to operation and make it part of Ethiopian Defense Forces? You know, because of its background and because of uh, um, lack of, and this Ethiopia has become landlocked and uh, attached to that, this become gradually become weak. But now it is very important. It is not mandatory to have the sea, sea coast to have a navy, but we, have, we can look, we can use others, and we have to make it a strong, a strong navy army in that area. So now we are changing the issue, but we have to go for that gradually. Uh, we, have, we have to have what other countries have. In fact, based on our interest, based on our people's interest, to, to safeguard our country, we have to do anything we have to do. How are you going to implement this? Where is the Navy going to be situated once it comes uh, back to being? We, we, can, we can imagine in our, uh, this region, there is, uh, there is a lot of uh, sea coasts that, that, is, uh, uh, fa that can facilitate for the Navy. So um, I cannot mention where it will be, but we have to think to do that also.